Hey guys, this is John T. I'm back for another video. And we've got some new and interesting news regarding Destiny 2. What Destiny 2 is coming up is with some seasons which will arrive quarterly with themed content. This was shared in the TwitchCon 2017 yesterday where Bungie outlined what Destiny 2 players can expect content wise. So Destiny 2 will feature seasons each with its own content theme with the prerequisite emotes, ornaments, ships, powers and the like. Each year there will be four seasons with its own themes and goals. For example, Expansion 1 is slated for release this winter as part of Season 2. At present, it's rumored to be called The Curse of Osiris and various information since the game release in September backs it up as well. With the Season 1 starting soon, Players can expect sandbox tuning, large patches, changes to the meta, new features, and some important changes to the game as well. Bungie has been keeping track of about everything in the playable space for the most used weapons and bullets to the most played subclasses. Just been doing the tweaking in Destiny 1 as well where, you know, at times uh, try to analyze data and due to that they would you know make some changes they have various changes in destiny one as well so the, probably this is the thing that is going to happen in the seasons and upcoming updates as well so shaders will remain just like e season for the foreseeable future and bungie is considering not deleting shaders in a mess but there is isn't a timetable regarding this so we still have to wait for the latest updates regarding this as well. So expect the current shaders available in game to remain. Changes in bright engrams will occur with each new season and new armor will be made available as well. So that's good news that we have updated content coming up regarding armors and bright engrams. Another faction rally will be held during season 1 complete with new shaders, ornaments and weapons just like the last time with Dead Orbit was the victor. Before the end of the season, players can expect clarion calls rituals. Here players will earn double XP and new bright engrams while playing the fire teams and with pilot clan collaboration will be required. During season 1, Bungie will do its best to encourage players players to join a fire team instead of going about tank solo. This encouragement comes in the form of providing buffs to fire teams, giving the player an incentive to be more sociable. They have to try to make it a bit more easier as well to for you to join the fire teams because you know at times it's kind of difficult to find the players and you know so that they can join you and then after that you play with them so there will also be one more iron banner held before the end of season one with new gear for players to acquire so destiny 2 season 2 what is going to come is with the return of iron banner with some nice changes to the token system the Dawning will return and a new competitive multiplayer map will be available as well. The Dawning returns this winter new armor and new activities such as hockey competitions in the tower. Players will be, uh, will be able to throw snowballs which do actual damage at other players and enemies. No word just yet on whether their racing will make a return or not but I'm definitely sure it would be coming in some future even because it was a big part of Destiny 1 as well and it's certainly something very competitive that players do like to enjoy as well. So along with new armor players can expect new shaders, ghosts, sparrows, weapons and emotes. This the event will also affect the rest of the game world so expect to see some differences in places other than the social spaces. Dawning is expected to go live shortly after the start of season 2. The images seen in the video provide a tease of what to expect from the event. New maps will be added and once the dawning finishes they will be added to the rotation. Trials of the Nine will also be given a fresh coat of paint during Season 2 and include updated ornaments and weapons with new perks. During the season, uh, second season, players can participate in Faction Rally again and armor rewards for Dead Orbit, Future War Cult, and New Monarchy and then weapons can be found through the Imgur links. With Bright Engrams, all modes and other rewards will be updated and changed. This means the particular rewards from a bright engram will be retired upon start of a new season. This will ensure each is exclusive to a season so that once earned, there is no way to acquire it by other means. For instance, one of the new emotes 
is mic drop which seems to be tied to the dawning. As far as crucible maps are concerned, with seasons when certain rituals are completed, special maps will go live. So here's a, are a few exp examples of the special maps as well that you might be getting. So regarding clans and seasons, for those in a clan during each season, clans will unlock perks for completing tasks which was previously announced by Bungie as well but not explained in full. Each clan will have daily and seasonal milestones for events such as Iron Banner, The Dawning, and new perks based on completing season team goals as well. With each goal attained, clan members will earn perks for clan banners along with the seasonal banner staff. Each season will follow new rewards and grams loot pools will update. To keep things fair during season, clans will have a maximum level. This will provide clans with smaller numbers to have a chance at things keeping clans with large numbers from completely dominating a season as well. So Bungie didn't say when to expect season 2 to launch but we wouldn't be surprised if it didn't occur sometime in November. Luckily Bungie said it's plans to, it plans to provide more accurate timetables of when to expect updates and extra content from here on out. So hopefully we'll know when the next content is coming soon. So these are a few updates that Bungie did announce in the, in the recent update and definitely I'm definitely sure that with these destiny 2 is just going to get much 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 more better so with that you have a nice day thank you for listening so thank you for listening again you have a nice day bye